Hello and welcome to this LS Dyna student tutorial. The goal of the study is to analyze a standard FSAE impact attenuator. So I'm preparing the CAD using ANSYS space claim, but all the setup and analysis will be performed using ANSYS LS Dyna student. So here you see the attenuator geometry. It's welded or attached using some mechanism to uh, a backing plate. And then this block here represents the bulkhead and the mass of the car, which is uh, 300 kilograms in this case. And then on the inside of the attenuator, we have several layers of honeycomb material, aluminum honeycomb that are stacked with interplates in between them. The bigger block here is, uh, is a honeycomb. The cell size is like 20 millimeters. And then there is a, a plate in between. And then there's another layer of uh, 20 millimeter uh, aluminum honeycomb. And then another interplate between them. And then finally a six millimeter cell size honeycomb structure. This is a rigid wall representing infinite stiffness. The goal is to apply seven meter per second velocity on this 300 kg mass and let it impact the rigid wall and then we are going to look at what the deceleration average deceleration of the structure is okay so i have ls prepost open here first step is to go to file import so as you can see ijs and step files are supported so i'm going to import my cad in step file format so I choose my CAD, make sure the unit system matches the unit system you created it in, then click OK. So on the left side, all the solid geometry and the two shell bodies are uh, being listed. So I can go ahead and mesh the bodies to create parts. So the automatic mesher can be used for surface bodies. So I choose that. Then, so you need to enter an appropriate element size I'm going to choose this part mesh and if it looks good accept it similarly uh, you can also pick from the tree here so I can select this uh, attenuator shell body from from the tree here and then same uh, mesh settings click on mesh so if it's acceptable click accept and then done so I'm going to go to solid measure and then specify an element size and if I do layer mesh it's going to create uh, rectangular uh, hexahedron elements for me so and then I can choose which parts to mesh so I can choose all the solids in my model and then click on try meshing automatically So if the mesh looks good, I can click on accept, and then done. So now if I go to my model, then select parts, I can see it has created two shell parts, and then all these uh, solid parts for me automatically. Again, the naming might not be very intuitive, so I can either go here, and then choose each one of them and rename it so I can say this is the rigid wall so I've finished renaming all my parts as needed the next step is to define shell sections and solid sections as well as material properties and then assign them to the various parts the shell section is where you'll define uh, for example the thickness of the part as well as the element formulation uh, being used. So under the model tab, I go to keyword editor, and then if it's set to model, go to all. So show all keywords that are possible within LS prepost. So here, scroll down the list to find section. And then under section, you need to find the shell and solid. So if I double click on shell, okay, so this is where you will say, new id generate a new id in this case if if uh, this is the first section i'm defining it's going to set that to one and then you give it a title for example in this case i'm going to assign this to the um, uh, impact attenuator outer shell so i'm giving that name here 
And then you said the element formulation. In this case, I'm using number 16, which is the fully integrated shell element, which is modified for a higher accuracy. And then the other value you need to specify is the thickness of the shell. So in this case, the thickness is going to be uh, one millimeter. And then once you're done, so click on accept. And then again for the rigid wall, I'm going to click on new ID, which is going to set it to number two. Give it an appropriate name. I'm gonna choose the same formulation and a thickness of one millimeter. And then accept. And then once those are defined, click on done. You need to do the same for solid bodies. So you double click on solid, click on new ID. It, it will automatically know that ID one and two have been assigned to shell. So now it's going to set it to number three. And then you specify a name and then the element formulation. If it's equal to one, it's the fully integrated solid efficient formulation. So I'm going to choose that one and then click accept. Similarly, so th those are for the honeycomb. And then similarly, you can have a different section with different formulation if needed for the non-honeycomb parts. This concludes part one of this video. In part two, we'll be looking at how to define the material properties.